Oh. I just got one question for Liv. Why are you acting like you don't know why mean get on here when you called her out last night? How did you I call her? I said I don't want it. No, no. You was like, come on, little chihuahua. No, 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 no. You want to play it back? We can run it back. I can play it again. I can play it right now for you. I said that I already know little chihuahua is going to come. She going to come. She just waiting. She was right. yesterday. Right. Huh? So didn't you think she would come once you brought her into it? You brought her into I it. I her. I just summoned her. I said, bitch, nobody I don't mentioned, But nobody mentioned me but you last night. She mentioned herself. Yesterday, she had a, she had, she posted a post talking about snake friends, talking about Jazz and I, when nobody was even talking about her or Chrissy at that point. Nobody was talking about either one of them. She brought herself into it. That's why I already knew, I was already clocking, the fact that she was about to come on today or yesterday talking shit. I already knew it. I already knew it. But I, I made a point to say that I don't want it with her. She can she can keep it to herself. Nobody cares. You know? Both of y'all whack. You and Jazz. Y'all stupid. Girl, and you sound like a man. <laughs> okay, period. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you for watching us. I'm going to say that. that. <laughs> for real. Like, did she just wake up or something? Girl, these comments, they, they talking about her. <laughs> Both of y'all wag. You stupid as hell, girl. Hello. Hi. So I'm at work right now. Mm -hmm. There's an echo in the back. I don't understand. Okay. It's probably if you have it playing. Okay. All right. So anyway, so I was a longtime supporter of you, Olivia. Okay. What's up? And um, I was riding for you while you. And Gerard was going through whatever. And you know, I talked about it. I felt bad when you came in and cried. My heart hurt for you. I sent you stuff on Instagram to motivate you. You know, kind of uplift you and whatever. And then I noticed, like, after the fact of y'all breaking up or whatever, it's like you turn into a whole different person. And I had to, like, stop watching. And then I started watching. I was watching Masters before or whatever. But I started watching the reaction stuff that they were saying actually made sense and no. I'm like, what is wrong as far as like your attitude how it changed and how you do this so hostile quick. and stuff and i'm like what is wrong with this girl i just do love her i'm so sorry to cut you off go ahead, go ahead. Let me make, let me help you guys understand i don't know how old you are i don't know your i'm 32 okay. i just turned 32 last month okay happy birthday i don't know if you've been you. through a divorce i don't know if you've been through a humongous long-term breakup but a bitch is oh, excuse me a female is bound to change especially when she's going haters on the internet talking shit about her every single day trying to put her and her ex against each other trying to you have to understand everything that i go through as the content creator now mm -hmm. when you are one of my supporters and you flip sides and you go and you watch a bitch talking shit about me 24 7 or sharing their opinion whatever you want to call it they're talking shit um of course your mind is going to start to change. I mean, when you start listening to other people push it in your head about a person, yeah, you're going to be like, oh my God, you're right. She is a bitch. She does this. She does that. When you're not even really, you ain't, you were never riding for me in the first place. That must have been what it was because I never came on here fake and I never came on here trying to portray something that I wasn't. I was always going to keep it real. Like, so I don't know. I guess that upset you or that made you look at me different. No, I'm not upset. It was definitely more of a, Look at you different one and two, just kind of disappointed and everybody handles stuff differently. But it's like now it's like, oh my God. <laughs> it's kind of like you know what I mean? I don't get it. And then another thing, your other I mean, pregnancy you have watched, but you know, what, your what, other what changed about me? What changed? The attitude, the way how you present yourself, the way how you talk about other people. Do you see other people talking about me? Do you see me on the daily getting drugged by these reactors? Do you see that? Or I no? definitely do. But a lot of the stuff that they say actually do make sense, Olivia. Like what? Like they say stuff like, it seems like you need therapy. And you're so adamant about not having therapy. But you can tell that you need what some kind of say? healing. We both answer. know what they say. Question. We what both know what they say. She's not answering the question right now. My question was, what do they say? I don't give a fuck about if you think I need therapy, bitch. That's your fucking opinion. You don't you don't even know me in real life. Oh, so now I'm a bitch. No, you're not a bitch. But I'm just saying, I speak how I speak. You know how I speak. If I want to call a bitch a bitch, I'm going to call you a bitch. You're a female, so I say bitch. Don't yeah, get my mom is not a dog, so I am. 
Sorry, I muted the wrong person. <laughs> I muted Jasmine instead of her. I look at the authentic soul. I'm not even trying to go back and forth with you, Boo But I'm you, not going back and forth with you. You said Is she taking herself off a of motherfucking mute? <laughs> How is she getting off a of mute? <laughs> okay. Girl, I asked you a simple question. What how what do people say about me that makes sense? Right? Is that what she said? Mm-hmm. Okay, so what so if you, you mute the mic, how am I supposed to respond? Well, now I'm letting you respond. I had to get my question across to you first. What they say about you is one, that you need therapy. Two, you were trying. Okay, wait, hold on. But no, no, no. We're going to do one thing at a time because it can get real messy up here. I need therapy. Okay. You can't look at a person. You cannot tell another person that they need therapy. Period. You can't. I mean, you can, but if they don't respond to it the way you want them to respond, you can't get mad. The fuck? We're all grown. Okay, what was number two? So you don't think you need therapy based on what you went through? We just said as a divorce and everything else. Bitch. That's none of your. Okay, sorry. There I go. I'm not trying to call her a bitch, <laughs> but it's none of her business. It's, it's not, not my business. Concern. It's not my personal concern. But as someone that you're acting like it's your personal concern when you're asking. As me, some stop do. Stop meeting yourself. You're acting like it's your personal concern when you're. No, 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 sweetie. No. No, 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 bitch. Let me get it real understood real quick. This is our live. Okay, this is our live. I would say, girl, go to the next caller because she's just going to keep asking. No, it's like she wants to be rude. She wants to tussle. Bitch, I don't want to tussle with you. You're not a psychiatrist. And even if you were, bitch, I make my decisions on if I need therapy. Bitch, maybe you need therapy. How about that? Okay, so I asked her what number two was. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a bitch and I don't want to discount her. her. So I'm going to give her another chance. Okay, she left. Okay. You can call back, but we're going to have a one-on-one conversation. We're not going to... Go back and forth with the therapy bitch. I mean, the therapy shit. <laughs> Me and my word bitch. I need to stop saying that. Hello. Hello, I'm back. Okay, you had questions for Jazzy? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you that um, Ming was, she brought, she brought up the Coke thing again for your information. Of course she did. She was the first one who brought up the Coke stuff. But go ahead. Okay. So I want to talk to Jazzy, but I don't I don't want you to interrupt, okay, Liv, because I've been very respectful. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So Jazzy, my question for you is, what is your response to um the overwhelming outcry of people saying that Chris is being inappropriate with girls. That what? That Chris is being inappropriate with your girls. What how what is your response to that? You know, honestly, it's disgusting. It's disgusting and it is annoying. I get annoyed with it. Now I try not to come on YouTube or any of my social medias and dwell on it because I I live with a man. Okay. And me, I am a woman. I would not let a man disrespect me or my children or my girls. You know, if there was something going on, my kids talk to their dad. They talk to their aunt. They talk to their granny. They talk to their uncles. They go to their house. They go to my grandmother's house. If there was something going on, my kids don't bite their tongue. They would say something. You know what I'm saying? And he doesn't, he doesn't do nothing bad. All he does is take care of them. He stepped up and took care of four kids when he didn't have to. So yeah, I get a little irritated when I see people saying that he's sexually assaulting him and I mean sexually assaulting my girls and there's no liable proof. All they say is, Oh, he took the girls a bath bomb. Even though they probably was not or was in a bathroom or not, he took them a bath bomb. Little so they they be taking them the bath bomb? Because I think that's what they were saying. Amaya the bath bomb. Amaya was still in Kaylin's room. Okay. But he did not go in the bathroom. And I cleared that up, but some people still say, Oh, it's more he, we know he did this. Like it's the he say, she say, I, I know. I, I, that's something I always, that's my biggest pet peeve. When somebody get on this social media platform and say, I know that Chris is sexually assaulting her kids because he did this or that. That bothers me. I hate when people say that. You don't know anything. You don't live here. You're not here with me 24 seven. If a man was hurting my kids, goddamn me, I will beat the shit out of them my damn self. Period. He doesn't do anything. All he does is take care of them as if they're his own. It's like people forget Chris got a whole daughter of his own that's been here with us. He has two boys that's been here with us. If his daughter's mom or his boy's mom had a problem and thought that Chris was sexually assaulting my kids, you think that they will let him be around his own kids? No. So for people to say that, it's just disgusting. And okay. yes, we are seeking help to get our shit, everything, our names cleared. We will make sure everybody that said something is going to pay for what they said. Period. So I think another thing um, people were saying is that because they think that you're like kind of slow, so even if it, it, it's something that could be happening under your... Right, so under my, your- look, I graduated from college. I gradu- graduated from high school. I, I did everything, okay? 
I know what a sex, somebody being sexually abused look like, okay? I'm not stupid. I, I've seen stuff on social media. I've seen stuff on the internet. I've seen stuff on, uh, I, I watch my little time, the little shows and stuff. I'm not dumb. I know what sexually assaulting is and somebody having sex with somebody doing is, okay? Like, come on now. And she's come in on. tune with her kids. She knows okay. what's going on with her kids at all times. That's another thing. Like, y'all, people act like Chris is not supposed to hug them. He's not supposed to treat them like that they're his. We're but there's, there's still supposed to be boundaries, so I hope you know, you're still supposed to set boundaries with little girls and, you know. My other boundaries. question is, does Chris have a, does Chris have a, a, a charge? Has Chris ever been locked up? Does Chris have a mugshot floating around? Okay, so y'all, y'all are really after the wrong man. Y'all, y'all worried about the wrong one. I'm telling you right now, you worried about the wrong one. Y'all need to start worrying mm -hmm. about the nigga with five mugshots strangling bitches from Florida to Texas. For real, for real. I'm not saying Chris is perfect. I'm sure he's not. Everybody has their flaws. But y'all worried about the wrong one. And it's okay. just, it's more so, it's not even being, it's just stop it's saying that y'all don't have the, y'all don't have information on y'all are sitting, honestly, like me being on social media, if I knew something was going on, if Chris was having, doing something sexually to my kids, you think he'll be living here? No, I'm sorry. I'm not that woman. I will not do that. Okay. Like, uh, I'm just sorry. Okay. Next question. Okay. One more question before I go. So yeah. Jazz, since mm -hmm. you weren't here. So how do you feel about, um, with the news that just came out, I actually left earlier about the news that came out about Chrissy with the mugshot. So what are your feelings about that? Do you think it's true? Do you think that he did put his hands on Chrissy? Hold on. I mean, you can be honest. It's not talking bad about her. Just how do you feel? Because what the reactors are not reacting on it. And oh. I want to know how how you feel that, you know, they oh. will talk about you and Liv. So why won't why are they not reacting on Chrissy? You know, honestly, how how <laughs> You can be honest. I know, I know I can, but it's like I said, I know her personally. I know a lot of things. She knows stuff. Well, I don't know. Because what if, if a mugshot comes out about Gerard or you or your man, they're going to talk about it. So why aren't they talking about Chrissy's man? I'm because, telling how you feel. Honestly, the reason why I feel like they're not talking about her is because one, she, I don't know how this relationship began with her in this one certain reactor. But well, you can call names, say it. It's okay, I, no, I, we don't I, drop names on this channel. I, I, didn't, know what, I didn't know what her name was. Okay, well, whatever person. her name is. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I don't know. I don't know how that relationship came about, but that, that's, that's what's protecting her is the fact that she has a reactor. Now, y'all, and I know to God, they have to see that she's using them. Honestly, she always says she didn't give two Fs about them. So honestly, she's using them to try to get back right now to get back at me or Olivia by like going live with them and stuff like that. She's using them and they don't see it. They do not see it. Maybe well, they, they use each other. It goes back and forth. They need they, to be the, the protection. But this, but this, same, this same reactor has bashed her in the past. That's oh, that's the shit out of her. That's what I that's why I was like, you know, I could never. Like I remember those times when she was upset with that dude and she calling me and begging, I'm helping her. I'm, I was helping the girl. I was helping her. I remember those times and that reactor crashed. I could never. Like, I don't care. Now, if a reactor came to me and apologized for their stuff and that's happened before, they did it. Okay. I took their apology. Yeah, they probably went on about and started posting more reacting videos. But you know, at the end of the day, you apologize. I left it at that. At that. I'm not going to sit here and befriend you. You know what I'm saying? It's just. Yeah, that's, that's very weird. Yeah. And okay. as for how I feel about the mugshots and stuff like that, I, I tell really. Me tell me how you really feel. Don't, don't hold back. I feel bad. Like I said, I do. I feel bad. I told, I said that. Look, Chris is still like, man, why you saying that shit? <laughs> okay, but my question, my question is, do you think it's true? Because a lot of people are trying to call cap and saying it's not true. So Girl, who cares if it's true? We that's not our business if it's true or not. I, I don't, no, I, but she she's trying to deflect to you guys now. Well, yeah, you know, of course. So that's why I want to know if you think it's true. Let, let this be let this be known. They all they have is the mud shot and, and the crime, right? It's gonna come out, more is gonna come out. So let it all develop and then and then we can take y'all can take from there at that point. Because we don't know, we don't give a shit if it's true. All we know is there was a mud shot and girl, he looked intoxicated. He looked like he just strangled a bitch. So who knows? Okay. okay. All right. All but right. I'll let, I'll let somebody else come on. Okay, thank you.